away from government and governance uh, to energy matters. Amid the speculations of an imminent increase in the price of petrol, experts and some residents say it will only bring more hardship on the masses. Jacinta Obioku has more. Though the Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation, NMPC, says it has no plans to increase the price of petrol in the month of March, the public relations manager, NMPC, Kenny Obateru, said, quote, Corporation was not contemplating any rise in the price of petrol in March in order not to jeopardize ongoing engagements with organized labor and other stakeholders on an acceptable framework that will not expose the ordinary Nigerian to any hardship. End of quote. Reacting to this rumor, Lagos residents say such move should not be allowed. No employment, nothing. When you now increase the fuel price, how much will I be entry public bus from uh, here to Agege, for example? The economy is so bad, and if there's any single increase, it's going to bring a lot of problems to the, particularly to the low salary earner and to the country in general. It's not good for our economy because the hardship now is very, very, it's not good at all. People cannot feed. So to increase fuel now, is adding injury, adding sort of injury. It's going to affect every part of our life. We know we all depend on it. You can't go to anywhere without fuel. Guests on Plus TV Africa's show, The Breakfast, also share his opinion. People talk about panic buying, but I, but I, but I believe as you do that, the average Nigerian doesn't have those kind of resources necessary to, 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 keep, to keep 20 kegs of petrol, you know. In, in their houses. I, I still suspect really that there is something happening in the value chain and this is being translated to what you are seeing on the streets. Whether it is the NNPC, the ministry, the PPPRA, whoever it is needs to sit down, find out where that challenge is in that, in that value chain. The average, the average petroleum marketer wants to sell, sell his product, get another, uh, get another truck in and make as much money as, as, as possible. No queue in sight as some filling stations here in Lagos. The NMPC spokesman has also called on relevant regulatory authorities to step up monitoring of the activities of marketers to sanction those involved in products hoarding or arbitrary increase of pump price. Jacinta Obuku reporting for Plus TV Africa. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.